Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Chandrika and this is Rika Life. Okay, so I finished another item for my holiday market. I actually finished a scarf and funny enough, uh, when I was trying to finish some of my whips, my works in progress, I was also finishing a scarf for that. And the scarf that I finished um, today was a line brand um, scarfy light scarf and the one I finished before was Lion Brand original scarfy. Hi everyone, sorry about that. Okay, so I have made two different scarves and I want to share them with you so you can see the true difference between these two yarns. So I, I wrote down the stats of the Lion Brand scarfy yarn. So this is the first scarf that I made. This is with Lion Brand Scarf Yarn, and this is the color Cream Black, okay? This is a waffle stitch that I used, and it was not my first time making a waffle stitch scarf. I've made it many times before. You can see that up close. They look like little boxes, and I really enjoyed making this. I'm going to give you the stats on this scarf, so let's just put it up here. Okay, so this yarn I actually bought back in January of 2022, if you can believe it. It's been that long. And I'm just finishing it now in November of 2023. See how long it takes to use yarn sometimes. Okay, so this is Lion Brand Scarfy yarn in the color Cream Black. This yarn is 78% acrylic and 22% wool. It's a number five. It's 5.3 ounces and 312 yards and recommends a K-hook. Um, I think I used either a, I think I must have used a J or a K-hook for this. I honestly can't remember now. Um, it was originally $9.99 and I got it for $7.99. So that's the first scarf that I want to show you. And now, um, this year, Lion Brand came out with Scarfy Light. So, this is Scarfy Light. This right here. And, isn't it beautiful? It, it is really beautiful. It's just a very, very different yarn. I never would have called it Scarfy Light because it has literally nothing in common with this scarf. So I have the label of the Scarfy Light. Um, it recommends one to two balls for a scarf. So I was able to make a scarf out of one ball. So uh, Lion Brand Scarfy Light is a 3.5 ounce or 100 gram ball, 349 yards. The other one was 312, so pretty close, or 320 meters. This one is 43% acrylic. 41% polyester, 9% nylon, and 7% wool. It's a medium weight four, recommends a J or six millimeter hook. And this is the color sunset. So this is how much is left. I pretty much used the whole ball. Um, let me just see if I can uh, see how big they are in comparison to each other. I think they're about, no, they're almost the same. So I was able to make, I was able to make, let's see, you can see it there. I was able to make uh, one scarf out of each ball. Um, these are completely different yarns. So this is the Sunset, the Scarfy Light. And this one is a very fuzzy yarn. It recommends a larger hook size. What did I say, J? Yeah. J, but I, I think I used, I used an I actually, because the J seemed, the, the yarn itself to me feels like a DK weight because it's so thin. Um, but then all that fuzz around it, so the yarn itself is super thin. But then all that fuzz around it is what they are trying to account for. So I didn't account for the fuzz. So when I say fuzz, it's like, it's kind of like this brushed look. And I honestly, um, I worked on this with black pants on and nothing came off on my pants. So it's definitely not, it's not really going to shed, which is good. 
Um, but, um, yeah, they're just two completely different yarns. Like, this is scarfy, this is scarfy light. It's like day and night. There's nothing in common with these two yarns. Uh, Line Brand could have just come out with, like, I don't know, Line Brand light yarn and had these colors and had this texture and had this feel and we would have still bought it, you know, but by calling it a scarfy light, you're making it seem like there's something in common with this yarn, which there's not. There's absolutely nothing in common. It's not a thinner version of this yarn at all, in my opinion. But anyways, I have finished both of these scarves and I like both of them. And I would definitely recommend this yarn. Um, the wool is not my favorite to work with. I honestly, I like working with acrylics. Um, it's just easier for me. And some acrylics are super soft. Because these have wool, they will be probably warmer, which is a good thing. Um, it takes some getting used to because I, when I started working on this, as it's a number five, a bulky yarn, I'm not really used to working with larger hook sizes, but I'm getting used to it now after making all those hats for donations, which you can see in the previous video. So this one is done and this one I just use an eye hook. So that's more, um, you know, comfortable for me right now. And I actually did really enjoy these color changes. I'm sure it would look different if it was knitted, but I don't really knit, I crochet. And um, I think this looks really beautiful. Like it's called Sunset. It's really pretty. i show you all the colors up close. You can see them. So I only bought one ball of Scarfy Light because I wanted to try it out. I could tell from the pictures that it was a much thinner yarn. I could tell from the pictures that there was some fuzz. And so I didn't want to buy more than one colorway. I just wanted to buy one and I wanted to try it out. And I'm glad I've tried it out. Um, in all honesty, I will not be buying this again. I love the colors, but I don't really love how it feels, nor do, did I love working with it. Um, it was a pain to frog, even to just fasten off in between working on it. I didn't even make a knot in it. I literally just left an open loop. I could have put a stitch marker. I didn't even think about that. Luckily, I didn't unravel anything and I didn't really have to frog anything. So that was good. Um, this yarn, I think I would use this again, but I'm kind of excited to try it out. Um, try out other bulky yarns. Like I'm really excited to try out Premier Puzzle Yarn and Premier Shimmer or Premier Puzzle Shimmer Yarn. Um, I just went on Joanne's website. These are both from Joanne's. I just went um, on Joanne's website. Sorry, I forgot to mention. So the Scarfy Light was $7.69. So this was $7.99. That was $7.69. And right now, um, line, uh, Joanne's has 30% off all line brand yarn. By the time I post this video, the sale might not still be active. So I'm sorry about that. But what was I saying? Yeah, so when I just went on Joanne's website to look at this yarn again, there were like... I want to say more than 15 colors and um, what just happened to my lamp? They were like more than 15 colors and I was just like, what is happening? Like, I didn't know that they would have so many colors, you know? So I may try out some of the other colors of this. Um, I know how it feels and I don't mind it. And of course, both of these items are going into my holiday market. So I'm happy that I have two scarves and it's really funny that they're both line brand scarfy yarns. But, you know, I'm sure somebody will love each of these. They are both beautiful and um, they're both warm. And I might, I'm just thinking I might need to have the care instructions with me. But um, generally, I probably, with all my items, I think I would suggest people to hand wash and lay flat to dry, just air dry. Um, it's worked well for me in the past. Honestly, the only things I've really um, washed in the washing machine are my Karen Simply Soft uh, blankets. So, and, and I've never put them in the dryer. I've just let them air dry, just hang them on the back of a chair or 
If you have a drying rack, you can hang it there as well. And that has worked for me in the past. So hopefully that will work again. I'm really excited that these two scarves are done. I'm making progress. Now I can continue working on my mandala. I can finish my two wall hangings and then we'll see about displaying my mandalas. I really need to um, get some frames or some canvases and um, thinking of stitching them onto the canvas. So that'll be a project in itself. I think I'll need to set aside like a whole week for that and just work through each piece and get it going. So yes, lots to do still. Uh, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, please share, and please subscribe to my channel. Uh, please leave me, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you all. I hope you have a wonderful crocheted day and I'll see you again soon.